In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to UV unwrap a curve extrusion. So anything that, like a, a cable or a pipe, anything that has uh, that you have extruded a piece of geometry along a curve. If you ever look at that, the UVs for those objects, they're very hard to UV, especially if there's a lot of uh, curves and turns inside uh, along the geometry. So let's go ahead and build something that we can use as an example. So I want to hit the space bar, go to create, go to CV curve tool, and I'll just kind of build a simple S shape. Something like that. I'll hit enter. Looks good. Uh, now let's build something that's more cylindrical. So a profile curve or a profile piece of geometry. So I'll go to create polygon and I'll start with a cylinder and I'll just drag something out. Really simple like that. And all I need is the simple profile curve. So this this little flat part of the cylinder is what we need. So I'm going to go to face mode and delete everything else as long as I have this piece right here. So go back to object mode. I'm going to center the pivot on that. Modify center pivot and make sure the move tool that looks good. I'm going to snap that to the curve so I can either press the C key and click and hold and try to snap that to the curve. Sometimes that's a little bit harder to do. You can see when it goes into snapping mode that little square turns into a circle. You can either come up to the top of the interface and here's the snap to curve option up here at the top and all you do is you try to snap it to that curve and now you can see I try to move it off it's actually snapping to it. So I'm going to take this all the way to the beginning point of my curve. So when I drew this curve I also made sure that I took this polygon and snapped it to the beginning. So again this is the end. You always want to pay attention to where you started your curve and where you ended it and make sure you put your geometry at the beginning and then it will extrude more uh, properly. And then I need to make sure it's perpendicular to the curve so I can bring up the rotate tool and move this but if I want this to be a little bit more um, a little bit more precise again I can hold the JK, J key down and then grab one of the uh, axes and you can see it moves it in 15 degree increments and that, that's pretty good so that's that J key that will move everything in 15 degree increments it's really useful alright so I've selected that piece of geometry I'll hold shift I'll select the curve I will go to edit mesh and then I will do an extrude and you can see mine already has some preset of divisions if you don't you can go to divisions and add some more and there 25 actually I'll, I can overdrive this by adding 30 or let's do 50 well that's looking pretty good I could do more but I think 50 is good enough for now alright so there's my object let's also go to normals and soften the edge so a little bit smoother and let's take a look at the UVs for this so go to edit UVs UV texture editor and there it is <laughs> not too useful all those UVs are all packed right in here so you're gonna have to uh, kinda break it apart and get it to uh, unwrap properly so let's work on that first thing I want to do is I want to flatten the uh, UVs for this. So I'm going to put this over to the side and actually let's make this split screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to split screen mode and I'll move this outliner over and I'm going to go to panel and then I'm going to go to panels here and then I'm going to put UV texture editor so we actually have both up at the same time. It's just like that and let's go and let's do a planar projection so create UVs planar projection options box and we'll point this down 
project from the y-axis so going straight down and hit apply there you go still not great to work with let's take that checkered pattern out of the way so I'm going to hit this little um, turn off show textures button and alright so let's get this to be a little bit more usable in the UV editor uh, first thing you always want to do on on this is you want to get rid of the in caps and it just tends to work better if you get rid of this in geometry if you need that for your overall look for your geometry uh, you can always put it back in um, but again you need to do this for the UV process so just take off these end caps and again you can always put them back if your model needs it alright so there's that let's go to the next step I'm going to select my object and go to object mode and then I'm going to go to the UV editor I'm going to go to the top of the menu for the UV editor polygons and unitize is what I'm going to use and options box as you can see there's not much to it all you do is just hit it and you can see it's taken every polygon on this object and constrained it to the outer border of the 0 to 1 space inside the UV editor so that's what it does and now we're gonna have to pick a seam where we're gonna stitch all these polygons on top of each other that are on top of each other we're gonna stitch them together if I actually go to the shaded mode you can see it's just dark dark blue that means there's lots of, of these polygons sitting right on top of each other so that's what we're gonna do is kind of try to sew them back up together again so let's pick the line that we want to sew it so again we always want to pick a seam that's away from the viewer so this bottom edge so I'm gonna to go to edge mode double click and I'll select this edge loop going through the model that looks good and then what I want to do is I want to actually deselect that edge and select all the other edges and there's a couple ways you can do that you can either uh, hold shift and reselect the whole thing and it will do that but it doesn't go all the way through because I probably have uh, camera based selection turned on so if I go to the move tool and I scroll to about the middle of the uh, settings for the move tool camera based selection if I turn that off I should be able to do that so if I hold shift and marquee it across the whole object see how it inverts the selection another way of doing the same thing so I just undo it is go to edit and inverse selection here so there's two ways of doing that so now that I've got it uh, unitized all the, the uh, UVs and I've selected the one edge where it's going to be you know where it's going to separate and it's, then it's going to sew all the other polygons to e each other so we're going to use the move and sew for that so again the move and sew is sitting right down here you just click it boom and then we kind of scroll back or zoom back out and you can see inside the UV editor all our polygons or all our UVs are unwrapped for this object the problem is it doesn't fit to the 0 to 1 space it actually comes in pretty big so we'll go to UVs select it all and then I'll just scale and then move it to fit down inside so there you go and then you can kind of play with the scale a little bit and then you can do a couple more pipes this way or cables or whatever you're trying to do and you can kind of stack them along the side or put them on top of each other whatever you want to do but now it's been UV'd so let's let's get the texture going let's press 6 you kind of see now you kind of have to play with it you can see it, it looks pretty good right in the middle but right in the edges kind of gets a little wonky so go ahead and grab some of the UVs at the top and I would hit the B key get a soft selection hold the B key down and you can see let's get to right using the um, UV editor as a 
guide and then kind of looking at where it starts to stretch right in this area and then I'm just going to take that and move that kind of see it's a good start on getting those UVs situated and I'm going to grab those and do this same thing there And then you can just take those and start tweaking those a little bit to get what you want out of it. It's a little crowded right in there. It takes a little while to play with it and get it. You just got to play it. There we are. Just play with the spacing until you get something you like. I'll hit that B key. There we go. And I don't know. It's a tough one. A little bit closer. And this one's way too much. There we go. And that one. So you just keep playing until you get something. Looks very somewhat similar. To each other. There you are. Take all that and size that down. So at least it goes in the UV space and you can sit, still sit there and tweak it a little bit more. Is the boring part. There we go. So that's how you are able to UV a tube or a pipe that, again, a piece of geometry that uh, extruded along a curve, and that's how you get it to uh, UV. All right. I'll see you guys next time.